Hi, I'm Third Focus from Patron.com forward slash Third Focus and welcome to New Zhang Audio Master Check Overview. So most of you will be heard of people talking about mixing and mastering and dynamics and loudness of what a track can have and can't have. There used to be a loudness war, where every mixing or producer or mastering engineer will try their best to make their song the loudness. But now most of the music is now being mastered for iTunes and Spotify, so the levels are set differently from each other and has different peak levels or average levels. Master check is to try help people get them levels. More importantly people out there produce audio for broadcast TV and that has very strict rules, so using master check like this is the law. But it's useful for listening to how a compressor affects the track. So looking at the screen here I have got one instance of it on the master channel. You get given some factory presets so you can see here minus 16 with the with the minus 2 dB safe minus 1 dB hot. Minus 0.5 dB. You also got TV Europe, TV Japan because they all have different rules. So there are presets there so you can change exactly what you're monitoring at any given time and also what you want your signal to be. Over here we have APLR which is peak loudness ratio so it compares the peak levels of your signal and that is true peak which is again another strict method measuring signals. It compares the peak levels to the average loudness and comes out with the ratio. This is called the dynamic range so the loudness part of the track compared to the general average of the track. If that's a very small number it means your track doesn't have much dynamic range. As a producer or mixing mastering engineer your goal is to get a track crisp and clean and loud but not over compressed or squashed. So that is something that people aim for numbers and monitoring. The PLR, I think most engineers will aim for their track anywhere between 8 and 15 in dynamic range. Moving on the next box you got LKFS, now you have in the settings you can change the LKFS to LUFS which is another form of measurement, these are the standard measurements. So much like we have dB and we know dB to be dBFS, so that's decibels relative to full scales and we know in digital world 0 dB is your limit. So the other form of measurement is LKFS, or LUFS they are like the same. Also we have the offset to match here. Now what this does when you start playing a track if your goal is minus 16 which you can see here the little minus 16 LKFS that's the goal of the signal if you hit the offset to match it will change the volume of what you're listening to appear though as minus 16. Then you got external reference and compare the loudness to one track to another but more importantly to compare to exactly what a compressor is doing to your track. Then you got your true peak values here. You got LKFS meter here, your PLR meter here, then your peak meter here. You got a reset button, anchor button you can change mono to stereo or stereo to mono. The reason why master check is useful because a lot of people really aim to master for iTunes now not only iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, Beatport and other online platforms. The whole loudness war until recently was a big deal but it's not a big deal anymore because end of the day when it comes to YouTube and Spotify and Apple they all tend to aim for around minus 14 to minus 16 dB. Or LKFS which is a good goal to aim for, if you get your track sounding really big and tight and everything sounds as you want it and you're hitting minus 16 LKFS in your meter you know you nailed it. It's not just good for mixing and mastering it's also good for testing. Putting the compressors to the test anything that affects the loudness of the track will be sounding more pleasing to the human ear because it's louder. But if you remove the loudness of a compressors you just leave with the artifacts. 
Also another useful tip if you don't want to use the external reference just place it on a separate track without no effects on the bus and no effects on the master chain you can place your favorite. Tunes or commercial you can look at the peaks and try copy the volume and the demonic range of that track to your track. Anyway I find master check very useful and hope this will help you understand more about master check. Please subscribe for more useful tips and 7 day song video tutorial series.